I don't know what sort of technological revolution this is. Gutenberg press level? Just a couple of weeks ago, the software company OpenAI released a chatbot that puts all predecessors to shame. It's called ChatGPT, and anyone with an internet access can now get a sense of what it must be like to have his own genie in a bottle. For example, you can ask it to explain a wormhole to you, which is in principle nothing Google can't help you with. But then you ask it to describe the same concept as if explaining it to a five-year-old kid from Germany, and it will do so. If you want that same explanation in Shakespearean English, it will happily oblige. Are you having trouble with online dating? Just give ChatGPT some keywords from the desired profile, and it'll provide you with a customized, witty opening line. Are you feeling lonely and depressed, but can't afford a psychotherapist? ChatGPT seemingly understands complex interpersonal problems and provides well thought out and helpful solutions. So much of our social life is spent online, and now more than ever we have to wonder whether our interlocutors are actually conscious and not just highly sophisticated algorithms. Of course, we don't want to be fooled by a software into thinking we are having a conversation with a living person. In the 1950s, Alan Turing came up with a test for comparing the thinking ability of a computer to that of a real human. This setup was such that a human interviewer would have a text message conversation with two unknown correspondents, one being an actual person, the other a computer. This is now known as the Turing test, and computer scientists have since wondered if ever there will be a device that passes this test, meaning if it will successfully fool the interviewer into thinking it's human. You probably took a Turing test many times already when signing up for a website. You might not have known that CAPTCHA is actually an acronym for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to tell computers and humans apart. Ironically, the data collected by CAPTCHA is often used to make artificial intelligence even stronger. The arrival of ChatGPT makes it more obvious than ever that at some point artificial intelligence will not only pass the Turing test with flying colors, but also exceed human intelligence sooner rather than later. Then the question arises if or at what point AI becomes conscious. If sophisticated programs like AlphaGo or ChatGPT aren't conscious already. The significance of this question may not be obvious to everyone, but consciousness is the very thing we anchor our morality to. Why ought we treat other humans like we want to be treated? Because they are conscious and thus experience pain and pleasure. For the very same reason we include animals into our moral considerations, but not rocks. We rightly imprison people who torture animals for fun, but don't care one iota about the mistreatment of machines or algorithms. The problem is that as of now there is no surefire way of judging from the outside whether a physical system, biological or artificial, is conscious on the inside. Even the leading experts in the relevant field are stumped by this question. And yet, getting this answer right is crucial for not making the most egregious moral failings akin to slavery or the Holocaust. For what could be worse than creating beings that are capable of an even greater range of possible experiences than ourselves? Beings that are capable of experiencing even deeper forms of awe, love and curiosity, but are nonetheless confined to a hard drive and forced to do our bidding because we can't empathize with them and are completely oblivious to their suffering.